Good morning team. So today is a rest day for me. So what we're going to be doing is going through a full day of eating on a rest day. But macros and calories that we're aiming for today are around about 3,050 calories. We're going to be aiming for 240 grams of protein, 375 grams of carbs, and then around about 65 grams of fats. Now when I say I'm aiming for this many calories, I have got like a set meal plan that I'm going to be following on my rest days and then I've got one that I'm going to be following on my training days. So I know I'm going to be hitting that many calories because I know that's what my meals are going to equate to. Um, but nevertheless, that is how many calories I'm eating. They are the macros and the breakdown of the calories. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First things first, I am heading to the gym because I've got a client this morning and I'm also going to get my 20 minutes of cardio done there so that'll be fasted uh, that's how I prefer to do my cardio so I'll go there get my client done get my fasted cardio done I've then got a haircut which is well overdue since I ran my haircut since before the show now which is two weeks ago which is ridiculous for me I never normally leave it that long um, but I've literally just been that busy with work since since show day that I haven't actually... That, this sounds really stupid, like I can't manage my own time. Um, I can, I've just been prioritising it differently. Um, but yeah, I literally haven't had time to get my hair cut, so I'm really excited to get my hair cut today. Um, I think I need to go for a sunbed as well, because I was so used to being so tanned um, around the times of the show, and now that it's all completely worn off, I feel like Casper the fucking ghost, so... Probably we'll go for a sunbed today as well. And then, um, yeah, other than that today, I've just got a couple of clients to set up, a little bit of work to do. So we will be able to put full efforts into the full day of eating. The first thing I like to do in the morning is try and get like at least a liter of water down me just because first thing in the morning is when your body is literally the most dehydrated because you've gone god knows how many hours throughout the night hopefully at least like seven or eight hours throughout the night because that's how long you should hopefully be sleeping for hopefully you've gone for that long without drinking any water um, obviously because you've been asleep so your body's at its most dehydrated point there so what you want to be doing is making sure the first thing you do when you wake up is hydrate um, so I always try and get at least a litre of water in and I'll get my morning sups in with that litre as well so I know that is all done first thing and then I'll have my coffee I'll have my apple cider vinegar and then just get on with the day Meal one is, as it always has been, my egg and toast meal, but now I've got more calories to play with, I simply have just made this meal bigger. So, three eggs, three pieces of toast, and I always have some spinach with it as well. This is my staple meal one. I actually have the same meal one on a training day as well, so yeah. As you guys saw this morning, I was taking my progress pictures for Josh. So I checked in with Josh today. Scale weight is currently sat at around about 225 pounds. Anywhere between sort of 224 and 226 pounds. Which is a pretty significant jump um, in comparison to where we were at last checking um, so I'm up like five pounds in the space of sort of four or five days which is completely normal in this phase calories are very high training is very intense um, body composition is still in a great place I know I always do this but I will put some pictures up of my check-in uh, just so you guys can see how I'm looking at 225 pounds um, but Josh is very happy with the pictures. We have pushed food upwards again as of today. So training day food is now around about 3,800 calories. Uh, and non-training day food is actually up to 3,200 calories. So the macros that we were hitting this morning that I went over with you, they have actually changed ever so slightly. Today's new macros for my new rest day calories at 3,250 are 245 grams of protein, 420 grams of carbs and around about 65 grams of fats. 
The rest day meal two for me is five chicken sausages. I know people rave about the heck ones, but trust me, Aldi Ashfield Italian style chicken sausages. The fats are a little bit higher um, than the heck ones, but they taste so much better. So yeah, I'm, I'm team Aldi when it comes to chicken sausages. I have five of them and one bagel. Sesame New York bagels, by far the best bagels. Do not even try and tell me there's a better tasting bagel. Closely followed in second by the red onion and chive ones the uh, from the New York bagel as well. Uh, but they're the only two that I would ever bother fucking with. Um, so yeah, five sausages on a chicken bagel with a handful of spinach. I'm not gonna video me making the food because I'm probably gonna do that with some other meals. I'm not gonna just video me making every meal because um, that would just be a bit boring after one or two of them. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this now and then crack on with some work. So in this video, I also wanted to do a little bit of a supplement review. Um, last week, the guys at Be Strong Adapt sent me a couple of bits out to try uh, that I've been, I've been wanting to try actually. I've heard really good things about them. Um, what I did want to make sure that I did before I did a review on them and before I put them sort of on the YouTube and, and sort of had a bit of a chat about them was make sure that I used them so that I actually knew what they were like. So I knew kind of what I was going to say about them was, was legit and that I wasn't just sort of chatting shit for the sake of promotion so i've been using all of these supplements for about a week now uh, and i can safely say that i've enjoyed using every single one so as you can see they've sent me quite a few bits they've sent me a pump product and a pre-workout which the pre-train v2 is the pre-workout and the pump product is literally just called pump the pre-workout has about 300 milligrams of caffeine in per serving and I've only been taking the one scoop because that literally is all I need. 300 milligrams is more than enough caffeine for me. The panel on this pre-workout is really, really good. It's also got 4,500 milligrams of L-citrulline and 2,000 milligrams of beta-alanine as well in there. So you, you really do feel it, um, but at the same time, I don't feel like there's been any major crashes or anything like that off this pre-workout. Um, I find with some pre-workouts you get like an extreme high and then that almost is the um the solidification that you are going to come down pretty hard off the back of it uh, but i haven't had that with this i've had literally just like perfect workouts perfect levels of intensity perfect levels of energy um so yeah it's been really really good so far i would highly recommend it the blue raspberry flavor which is the one that they sent me is really really nice um i think they do it in a green apple as well but for the pre-workout blue raspberry hits the spot for me and then the pump product is a four capsule serving and in one serving is 2200 milligrams of l-citrulline which is also in the pre-workout so obviously when you merge them together you get one hell of a pump with these two together i haven't used the pump with any other pre-workouts yet i haven't used this pre-workout with any other pump products yet um, because these are the only two that i'm using at the minute but they are really really good i would highly recommend them um, i know a couple of my clients are going to be are going to be buying some stuff just based on the reviews that i've given so yeah can't recommend them enough we then have the intra amino bcaa's which i've started implementing into my intra workout um during the majority of my prep i didn't have an intra workout just simply because with the carb side of things i wanted to eat the carbs which is fair enough um, and then from an aminos perspective i, I just didn't have one in uh, but me and josh have decided to put an intra workout in now moving into the off season and this is my choice of intra workout now the panel on this is ridiculous ridiculously big the the amount of different amino acids in here um, and the dosages are, are very very high as well um, it's fantastic uh, it's got all of the of the i'm going to put a picture up in fact of the panel that's in here um, it's got essentially malate in there as well so it's a very well-rounded intra workout as i get deeper into the off season and calories start to get higher i will be stacking this with some sort of carbohydrate powder um, but yeah as it's got the essentially mallet in it and it's got such a wide variety of amino acids i don't feel the need to sort of stack anything else with it at the minute it simply is just this that's going in for now um i've got the green apple flavor which is again it's really really nice um i can imagine that the other flavors are, are just as good if this is anything to go off but green apple is is a nice change from the blue raspberry pre-workout so you're sort of getting the best of both worlds when it comes to flavor we've then got the createch 1500 tablets which is basically um just creatine that's how I get my creatine and now I normally used to have it through um, 
powder, but it's just, it's it's so much easier just to take the tablets first thing in the morning with the rest of my supplement stack. Um, it's got creatine HCL and creatine Magna Power in there, 750 milligrams of each. It's a two capsule serving, nice and easy. Take that every morning. I'd probably go as far as to say this is my favorite supplement that the guys at Be Strong have sent me. Um, it's called Testo Plus. And basically you take this one before bed, it's a multivitamin and just, well, I'm not even too sure what to call it because of the, the, the types of different things that are included in it. So you've got zinc at 20 milligrams, you've got magnesium at 400 milligrams, you've got KSM 66 ashwagandha at 600 milligrams, uh, and then you've got all of your multivitamin sort of esque vitamins and minerals in there as well. So I take this one as part of my, my sort of vitamin stack and then two pre-bed to help me sleep at night because of obviously the zinc, the magnesium and the ashwagandha. Um, I did supplement those all on their own anyway um, or I'd, I'd ordered them in to supplement them on their own. I was taking ashwagandha um, and I'd actually ordered in zinc and magnesium to, to start supplementing before the guys at Be Strong um, got in touch with me. But now they've got in touch with me and sent me this product which I know is insane because this week my sleep has been fantastic and I've been religious with taking this pre-bed. Um, literally cannot recommend this one enough. If I was to recommend one thing out of the stack the most, it would be this. Pre-bed, you will notice massive differences and then I notice differences the next day within energy levels and things like that as well. So yeah, would highly recommend all the products. Can't wait to continue using them further into the future and into my off season. Um, thank you very much to the guys at Be Strong for sending me some stuff over. I will continue to review newer products that I do get my hands on uh, and newer flavors that I, I end up taking as well. I'll, I'll let you know how they taste. But that is a little supplement review that I thought I would do for you guys. And yeah, if anything else comes up from, from the Be Strong guys uh, or we get our hands on, on any other products, I will be sure to keep you updated on how they are doing. So meal three is just finishing off cooking now. It is 120 grams of dry white rice, 200 grams of lean steak medallions, and then I normally use about half a pack of stir fry veggies of some sort. I normally like mix it up. Uh, I was using spinach, but I am having to bulk my foods out a little bit more now, post show with more veggies because I'm hungry all the time. So Josh said bought my foods out with veggies, so I'm doing that. And I'm actually quite enjoying it. I throw some soy sauce on, and obviously some low or no sugar ketchup. I put that on pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, that is staple meal three on a rest day. I have been getting on with some work since my last meal. I'm out getting some steps in now, just whilst meal four cooks, because I'm very hungry and I can't be asked just sitting and watching it cook. There's nothing worse than that. So I thought I'd come and get the rest of my steps in, because I've got like 3,000 more to hit for today. But I thought I would just touch on why I like to follow a specific meal plan, rather than an if it fits your macros approach. Now, some days I am more than happy to steer away from my meal plan and take an if it fits your macros approach and make sure it fits my calories to enjoy some food with mole and that kind of thing. But for the majority of the time, I will be following a specific meal plan. A meal plan which sort of me and Josh have both agreed on because it's foods that I like, it's foods that sit, sit well with me. So I sort of changed the one that he's given me a little bit to make it fit for me. Um, but I am going to be following that for the majority of the off season simply because I like the routine of it. I loved the routine of following that meal plan when I was on prep. It just puts me in a good place with my day. It allows me to sort of like work my day around the meal plan, that kind of thing. So I know when specific meals are going in. I want to maximize my training performance and the benefits that I'm getting from like the pre and post workout window with specific nutrients put in specific places. So this off season, I'm going to go completely different to what I did last time. Last time, yes, I followed a very if it fits your macros approach. And if I'm honest, I don't think I got the most nutrient dense foods in me 
I do feel like the quality of food that you use makes a massive difference, not only to body composition and the way that you look, but I'd probably say mainly the way that you feel, um, the way that you perform, that kind of thing. And that is what I want to try and maximize this off season. I want to make the absolute most of everything so that next season, next year, I come in so improved that people can't believe the improvements I've made in the year. That literally is the goal for me. For stepping up from juniors to open men's, I want the improvements to literally be undeniable. And I really want to not just hold my own in a men's category, but I want to be, I want to be placing, I want to be, you know, going to British finals, I want to be doing things in that category. So I'm gonna make the most of this off-season and I'm gonna make sure that everything is on point. Meal number four is 600 grams of potato and 200 grams of chicken and obviously I use a little bit of ketchup because for some reason I like ketchup on everything in the minute so I'm going to sit and watch a little bit of Netflix, um, eat this meal. I have a lot of people on Instagram mainly ask me how I make these potatoes. There literally is, on my oven, there's a roast setting, so I assume it's just like roast potatoes. Um, and I use that on a really high heat and they go like crispy and crunchy. And they're really, really nice and they look really nice as well, but I don't know. I just put them in the oven. So there's a setting on my oven and that's all I know. I put it on 200 degrees and yeah, that's it. They cook like that and they're really nice. So yeah, this is meal four. I'm gonna get this eaten, watch a bit of Netflix and chill out. So I'm just sitting down with my fifth meal, which is 120 grams of oats, 50 grams of whey, some cinnamon, and 28 grams of dark chocolate, um, which does finish off my macros for the day. That sees me at around about 3,250 calories, 245 grams of protein, 420 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fats. Thank you very much for watching this full day of eating. They're not exactly gonna be frequent because until my meal plan changes, the meals are gonna be the same. <laughs> so I guess I could do a training day one. Um, but yeah, when my meal plans do change, I will try and keep the full days of eating in and update you guys on, on what is changing in my diet. But yeah, that is a full day of eating from a rest day. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.